solubility of gases in liquids. Let's now look at the relationship between gases and liquids. When a gas is in contact with the surface of a liquid, some of the gas molecules pass through and diffuse into the liquid, becoming a solution, just like sugar dissolving in water. The quantity of molecules that pass from a gas into a liquid depends on various factors, such as time, temperature, pressure and the solubility coefficient. Solubility is the maximum number of molecules of a given gas that can dissolve in a particular liquid. When this level has been reached, the number of gas molecules in the liquid cannot increase. It is said that the liquid has reached saturation. The solubility of gas is not constant. For example, it increases if the pressure increases or if the temperature decreases. In fact, by increasing the pressure, more gas molecules pass into the liquid until saturation is reached for this new condition of pressure. If, however, we decrease the pressure, the gas molecules in excess are forced to abandon the liquid. An everyday example of this is a bottle of sparkling mineral water in which a gas, carbon dioxide, is dissolved in the water. Because the bottle is closed under pressure, when we open it the pressure falls suddenly and the excess gas molecules come out of the water, collecting together to form bubbles. A warm bottle will make more bubbles than a cold one because solubility increases when the temperature decreases. You will notice that if the top is open slowly, less bubbles form. But how does all this influence diving? Our body is made up of tissues that absorb, in gas and release, off gas, gas during the descent and ascent phases of the dive. Therefore, we should look a little more closely at 